Let's look at how a text file can be imported by links. To import a text file such as CSV or text, we're going to use the file plugin. In the file plugin, we can use the text file read component. Here we can configure the file path, which indicates what file to read. This can either be set by you, or it can be made completely dynamic. You can also configure the encoding. There's a few options available here. Underneath that, we have the return options. Here you can select complete, line by line, or list of lines. It all depends on how you want to use the data in the file itself. The fields configuration allows us to set up file format, text qualifier, lines to skip, along with the definition of fields, which can be imported from the file itself. Here we show how these fields can be imported from the file via the header. These are also completely customizable. You can add additional fields as you require them or skip fields. You can also load a test file to see how the fields will look and behave on runtime. When the return option is set to line by line, each line in the file will be looped through. This means that we can apply specific transformations or load that specific line item into a database. I'm going to set it to list of lines so that we can test and view the data. In debug mode, I'm able to see all of the data that is read from the file as a list. Next, we want to read all of this data into a database. To do this, I'm going to set the return options to line by line because I want to loop through every line in the file itself. Then in the database plugin, I'm going to use the execute SQL component. This will allow me to execute a specific SQL script. We need to set a connection string, which I've already created as a setting. Now for my SQL, I'm going to generate a very simple insert script with links. Now we need to define our parameters. We can do this by using the fields that are returned from our file via the text file read component. We can also add additional fields by using static data or by using other variables in links itself. You can also apply transformations in your SQL script. Now when the application is run, the file will be read and each line item will be returned separately. The line item is then inserted into the database. You can also apply data transformations in links itself. There are multiple ways of doing this. For this example, I'm going to use a string to change the product name. We simply need to select the variable that we need to change. In this case, it's going to be the product name. And then in our expression editor, there are multiple expressions that we can apply to that specific variable. For example, I can replace something in the name with something else. The links expression editor has multiple functions that are available for you to apply transformations and logic checks on your data. To learn more, go to links.software.